Hello everyone very good morning and good evening welcome to the game of high flyers next episode today we have with us saurav kumar so uh, let me give you a brief introduction about saurav so uh, saurav joined us long back 2018 19 he joined and he took uh, uh, training with us so we are covering his success story quite late because sometimes i was not available and sometimes he was not available so we took a little bit of time so uh, uh, saurav is having a background of uh, mm sourcing and procurement when he came to us he was having around 3 to 3.5 years of uh, experience and he was working in cap gemini uh, uh, as a sap support, sap mm support so he he came to know that there is uh, s4 hana is coming up and he want to switch his profile he was not getting that kind of offers if which he wants so he got trained with us at that time we were doing a training uh, simple logistics which is now equivalent to our three excellence courses so he got trained on excellence on sourcing and procurement he got focused and then he also uh, know about the delta changes in sd and delta in mm in our excellence sd and uh, excellence pp courses so that part also he has gone through it so after doing his training he he was able to jump into the one of the largest uh, consulting company in sap with uh, 100% of right now his package compared to that one is almost 100% growth uh, that was he was able to get achieved after the training and he also got certified that also helped him and now the next game plan we have given is to again make it 100% more in next 6 to 9 or maybe maybe up to 1 year we have given a game plan so that he can he can again from 100% he can jump into the another 100% growth so that's a brief introduction about saurav okay so uh, with that information i will welcome saurav on 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 this episode hi hi saurav welcome to the game of five flyers hi parminder how are you doing i'm good i'm good i'm good thank you thank you saurav for joining us so saurav i have given a brief introduction about you but it would be great <laughs> to uh, know your story from from your mouth that uh, how uh, you were working in a support project and now you are working in some very big sap s4 hana transformation projects how that journey happened what kind of things you have done what kind of struggle you faced during this period it would be great to know from your mouth so initially when i was working in the support project so we generally request uh, whenever we see that our teammates or our friends are working in a uh, good project we also wanted to move there or we wanted to a different team so that we get a better work but because we don't have anything to show um, on on back that we don't have that much of experience or we don't have any certifications with us so they will not put us into any kind of uh, new projects which would be coming generally the transformation ones so so i decided to get uh, this certification then 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 where well, then i got to know about you i joined your courses and we like i uh, got in touch with uh, nearly 3 to 4 months and after getting all your advices and everything i was able to complete my certification and after uh, once i got my certification done then i could see the real difference i started getting better opportunities at the company as well as when i tried to switch there was a, a little better response i would say than what i used to get earlier and that definitely helped me to get into a better company and uh, definitely i would say more than a better company a better project which helped me to learn a lot and uh, uh, the kind of work which i was hoping i would be getting i definitely got it okay that's great that's great saurabh so saurabh uh, how important is upskilling how important is that in the career growth that we need to upskill how how important it is and how how exactly you have done that uh, upskilling how much efforts you have put it yourself uh, during the training uh, going through the videos or doing system hands on what are the things which really helped you in upskilling and how important it was to do the upskilling i would say upskilling is very very important like we if we don't upscale we'll be stuck to the place where we are at the same level even we can go below that level but 
it will be very difficult to move to a higher position or a better kind of environment if we don't upscale. Yeah, we have to put in a lot of efforts, I would say. Like, uh, you remember our classes used to be at 6 a.m. in the morning, right? So, yeah, every day before going to office, we used to have connect there. Then after coming from the office, we have to put in efforts to do the hands-on and everything. So we'll have to put in efforts to get better results. That's what I would say. And upskilling yeah. is really important. Yeah, very rightly said. I, I get a lot of people when I when I do the morning, uh, uh, this uh, mo uh, morning classes, 6 a.m. Sometimes I have also done 5.30 a.m. early in the morning. And people come and used to say, Miyar, it's too early for me. It's too early morning. I cannot wake up. I cannot uh, wake up that early. <laughs> I just say that to give you, if you need to achieve something in your career, there are a few things which you need to compromise. And the minimum thing is that your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> if you cannot compromise your sleep to, to get gain something, then you will not be able to go anywhere. And even uh, people does not know that when I take a 5.30 a.m. class, sometimes, sometimes I need to wake up 3 a.m., 4 a.m. to make sure that check the system, all the scenarios are working in the system before I go into the training. So if you want to achieve something, you have to put the efforts. Things does not come simply, sim simply to you. Okay, even though uh, Saurav was there already in MM to upskill himself also, he need to put efforts. And the people who was looking for to start their new career in SAP, they need to put more efforts. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's right, Saurav. So, uh, uh, Saurav, so, uh, uh, when when you when you get the upskilling and then you applied for the uh, jobs and you got the I hope you got the multiple interview calls and you get converted into one of them. So can you can you let the people know about that process? Uh, what kind of interview questions has been asked and how you prepared for the interview? Yeah. So uh, initially, suppose uh, when I was not certified, I was still trying to give few interviews. So generally, the kind of questions they would be asking was pure MM related. And they would try to know if you have really worked or you are just trying to fake the experience. Means they will kind of, they will ask those questions, very easy questions if you have worked on it. Like, uh, is this transportable? Is this configuration can be moved directly or how do you maintain it? So if you have not worked, just studied, you might miss it. But that's the main thing they try to do, uh, what I have seen. But once I was showing my certification in that uh, resume, then I can see that the kind of questions got suddenly changed. They were more interested to know about the S4 HANA related questions and the things you taught us in this, those uh, training. The, the exactly the same thing they would be asking so that would be that was very very helpful to crack the remaining interviews with the uh, certification great 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 so so a couple of things Saurav said one thing is the importance of certification certification is very important that's what i recommend everyone go for certifications that include a batch in your in your uniform and give you some authority to speak uh, and then the interview calls also, you will find a little bit more uh, uh, volume of interview calls once you get certified. Second thing, you know, Saurav has talked about a very important thing that people are checking that you're not faking your experience, right? So that's why it's very important. I, I put a lot of stress, stress uh, I put a lot of focus and give uh, a lot of push to people to work on systems, to do a lot of system hands-on. You know, sometimes people say, Kim, say sir, they, they ask me the T code. Who asked the T code? They asked me the table name. What is the table name? So those kind of question has been asked to check whether you have really worked or not. If you have really worked on the system in the projects, there would be few transaction codes, which would be on your tips. There would be the tables, few tables names, which would be on your tips. So although even I don't remember those things, I need to do the Google. But those questions has been asked to check whether you have really worked on or you just have some theoretical knowledge from somewhere. So it's important you, you work on the system so that you would be able to answer those questions. Yes, that's that's good. So uh, Saurabh, so now what is the next game plan? So from MM, you upskills to MM, you have 100% growth. And uh, we I, I generally take the people not, not from one package to the double. 
I always give them the target to three to four times. So your target is three times from your yeah. earlier package. So what is the game plan? Uh, now I am looking into EWM. So that is a really hot skill, still in demand and uh, very less competition, I would say, out there. And, uh, really a good thing to know. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's what even I also recommend that the MM people, they can switch to EWM or Ariba. Uh, if you are more into the inventory, they can switch to EWM. And with this EWM and plus 90 days notice period, that's, that's very important. And that's a beautiful thing we have. So with the combination of EWM and the 90 days notice period, you, you don't need even a couple of switch with a single switch. You can double your package. Okay, so we would be there to help you out for for that switch if you uh, yeah. for that learning if you want it, and uh, uh, one thing you need to just make sure that I I, I want to do the next success story with you uh, mm -hmm. exactly in one year or nine month of time, and with the double offer package which right now you are in. So that's what target I am giving it to you. Okay, okay. so that I I just want to show a picture to people that you know when I speak that you can make your package two times, three times. It's really possible. Sometimes people don't believe me. I have done within working into the same company. Uh, within one and a half year, I was able to make my package four times. I, I do a lot of upskilling trainings and all these things. And with that, I was able to make my package from eight lakhs to 33 lakhs in four years of time. So these, uh, not four years, sorry, one and a half years of time. No. So these things, these numbers are possible. So have a faith on it and work as per the strategy we have given to you. And I'm sure that you would be able to achieve it. Not that easily because nothing come easily. My yeah. mentor say that if something come easily, it's not worthwhile. And if something come, if something is worthwhile, you need to really put effort for that. So put effort on the right ways and really you would, you would be able to get it. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Sora, for joining us in this episode, and thank you everyone who are listening to it. We would be coming with the next episode very soon. Till then, bye bye for now. Thank you, Sora. Thanks, Paminder. Bye.